This is an application called Edge Card Launcher. And if you're someone who loves apps that increase productivity and efficiency on your phone, well, then this is an application that you will absolutely love. So with the app set up and activated, you'll see this little white line on the edge of your display and you can just swipe down on that line and this card style interface will pop out, giving you quick access to a bunch of helpful shortcuts. You've got music controls, your volume panel, a bunch of app shortcuts and contact shortcuts. There's a toggle for the Google Assistant or even to turn on and off auto rotate, plus a bunch of other helpful tools and shortcuts as well. Even more than that, the app just behaves so well that it honestly feels like it could be a system level feature. Highly recommend. All right, next up we have Paper, which is a brand new wallpaper pack designed by yours truly. The collection comes with 15 super unique wallpapers, each of which have this abstract shape based design to them. And I've always loved this sort of look when it comes to modern art, which is why I wanted to try and emulate it for a wallpaper pack. Each wallpaper is 5K in resolution, plus for anyone using an iOS device, as always, I've also created a version of each wallpaper that you can use to make your dock invisible. Oh, and there's also a bonus desktop variation of every single wallpaper in the pack as well, if you're keen to use them on your computer. I really enjoyed making this wallpaper pack, so hopefully you love them as much as I enjoyed making them. And along with a bunch of other apps featured in today's video, if you sign up as a channel member, you will actually get this wallpaper pack completely for free. From there, we have Stealth, which is a third party Reddit client that I stumbled upon recently, which places a high priority on looking great whilst maintaining your privacy. As the name indicates, the key feature of this app is that it allows you to browse Reddit completely anonymously. In fact, you can't even log into the app. And so if privacy is of the utmost importance to you, then this app has got you covered. But my favorite aspect of this app is the design. It's got that modern pneumorphism design language about it that looks amazing. And it's seriously unlike any other Reddit client I've ever used before in terms of how it looks. Oh, and on top of all of that, it's also completely open source. Now, you know how you always see people writing, check out so-and-so using the link in my bio on Instagram or TikTok? Well, Linkr is a really helpful application that can transform that single link in your bio into a page of shortcuts. The app has a stack of beautiful templates to choose from, although some do require upgrading to the premium version. But once you've picked one, you can just go ahead and start building your page. You can add small icon shortcuts to all of your various social accounts, and then these larger style cards to any custom URL that you like. And then once complete, you can just copy and then paste your custom linker URL to whatever bio you like. It's a great way to maximize those single links in your bios on your various social accounts. Here's a really cool app I stumbled upon recently, Miro, which is a collaboration tool with a super neat trick up its sleeve. The idea with the app is to create boards that you can then share with anyone you're wanting to collaborate with. And then once everyone has a specific board opened within the app, you can then start scribbling or typing or even drawing shapes and it will almost instantly show up on the other user's devices. I can see this being an incredibly useful tool for team brainstorming and workshop sessions. Oh, and it's completely free as well. All right, before we get on to the next app, I just want to take a quick moment to thank today's video sponsor, The Ridge Wallet. So up until the start of this year, I was using a wallet that looked like this, and I thought that it was just about the smallest wallet I could find, but then I got this wallet. This is an outrageously sleek titanium wallet in matte cobalt from the Ridge. And not only is it super minimal and compact, but the build quality of this thing is also really, really premium. It seriously feels incredible in the hand. And despite being so minimal, it can actually fit up to 12 cards. Plus there's additional room for cash on top of that. And whilst I love this matte cobalt variant and can highly recommend it, they've also got over 30 different colors and styles available to choose from on their website as well, which is incredible. On top of all of that, every Ridge wallet comes with a lifetime warranty. Plus if you visit the first link down in the description and use the code Sam Beckman at checkout, you can get 15% off. All right, back to the applications. Now, if you've ever wondered what a modern material use style weather app designed by Google would look like, then I reckon weather today would be pretty dang close. In terms of functionality, this weather app is filled to the brim. You've got detailed weather forecasts, information on air quality, a really nice looking weather radar, plus a whole heap more. But then as you can see, the entire design is incredible. 
Not only does it have that modern material you look and feel to it and automatic theming as well, it's just a visually pleasing app to look at. And following that is Flomo Notes. And as the name indicates, this is a note-taking application, but it actually has quite a unique approach to taking notes that I don't think I've ever seen before. So instead of the traditional note-taking approach, taking notes using Flomo is a little more like writing a tweet. The text box even asks what's on your mind, similar to when you're composing a tweet on Twitter or updating your status on Facebook. And then when you finish writing a note, you just hit the send button and it moves to the top of the page. Again, similar to that feed style layout you'd find on Twitter or Facebook. I actually kind of dig the approach and the design is also super clean and fluid, which I love. And the fact that it also features cross-platform syncing means I can actually see myself potentially using this as my main note-taking application going forward. And then there's Hermit. And if you've got any apps on your phone that seem to constantly eat away at your phone's battery life or that are just too big in terms of file size, then this is an application designed to help. And that's because it allows you to create light versions of apps based on the web versions of those services. The app has a bunch of pre-made light apps that you can set up right away, but you can also create your own simply by searching for or entering its URL. But once you've selected the light app, you can then just drag it to your phone's home screen and there's your light app. And what's cool is that each light app has its own permanent window and will save all of your preferences as well, meaning they really do feel like self-contained applications rather than just web versions. Very handy. Second to last is Tilla, a clean, lightweight application that can help you to manage all of your various subscriptions. In short, you use the app to input any active subscriptions you're currently signed up to, so your Netflixes, your Spotify's, any application subscriptions you might have, and then not only will that result in a really clear, visually appealing overview of all of your active subscriptions within the app, but you'll also get reminders when each of your subscription payments are due, which means you won't be left with money accidentally leaving your bank account because a subscription automatically rolled over. There's a bunch of other handy features as well, so a super useful application worth checking out. And so last, but certainly not least today, we have URL Checker, a free and open source application that can basically act as a middleman for URLs. So let's say you get sent an email that includes some sort of link you wanna open. Well, instead of just opening it directly, you can instead share the URL to the URL Checker application, which will then open up a new window, providing you with additional tools and information related to that URL. So you can edit the URL to remove tracking information before you then open it. You can analyze the status of the URL and change it from a redirect to a permanent URL. Plus there's also an option at the bottom to open the URL in different apps, depending on the link. It's a unique tool that can kind of live in the background until you need it, but I reckon it could come in very handy. But that team is it. Now, as always, I wanna give a huge shout out to each of the developers on screen right now, as they have all been kind enough to give my channel members promo codes to the premium versions of their apps. So if you like the sound of getting a handful of premium apps for just the price of a packet of chips every single month, then all you need to do is sign up as a channel member, which you can do so using the link below. Aside from that, links to each app have also been included down below, as well as my new shorts channel, which you should definitely check out. But aside from that, thank you all very much for watching, and I will catch you later.